speed of progressive waves. No? Progressive waves means here we will study speed of transverse waves also as well as longitudinal waves also. So first one, speed of uh, transverse waves. So if I study about the speed of transverse waves, in first condition, speed of transverse waves on strings of musical instruments. Strings of musical instruments. Clear, ma? So, if we pluck the strings of a musical instruments, they will oscillate, no, ma? They will vibrate. So, stationary waves are produced on the uh, string surfaces. Clear? So, for them, the speed of transverse waves is given by V is equals to square root of T divided by mu. This is the relation. Okay? So, what is meant by T here? T is called as tension developed in the string. Okay, ma? So, second condition is what is meant by mu here? Mu is mass of, or we can say, mass per unit length of the wire. Mass per unit length of the wire. This is called as mu. Okay, ma? So, if I increase the tension in the wire, what will happen? If I increase the tension in the wire, speed increases. So, if mass per unit length increases, then velocity of the transverse wave decreases. Are you able to understand? Ma? So, in uh, tuning of musical instruments, you should have seen, no, ma? for example, there will be two supports like this. So, on these two supports, uh, strings will be present. Strings of musical instruments will be present. Clear? Ma? So, let us know. So, this is strings of musical instrument. So, if I go on increase the mass, then what will happen? If I go on increase the mass of this wire which is attached to this wire, then tension will increase, no ma? If tension increases, what happens to the velocity of transverse wave? Velocity of transverse wave also increases, okay? Similarly, if you increase the thickness of this wire, now can you say what will happen? If you increase the thickness of this wire, if you increase the thickness of this wire, then mass per unit length increases, no? Total mass of the wire divided by length of the wire. This value increases, no ma? If I increase thickness, but here mass per unit length mu, it is present in denominator, no? So therefore what happens to the velocity of transverse wave? Velocity of transverse wave decreases. So it is directly proportional to tension, inversely proportional to root of mass per unit length of the wire. Are you able to understand? Okay. So this is about speed of transverse waves in musical instruments. Clear? So then we study about uh, speed of transverse waves in solids. Okay, Nama? So, in solids also, transverse wave will uh, travel, no? For example, if I take any iron rod, hit that iron rod, then in that iron rod also, transverse waves will be produced. And for them, the equation of uh, speed is given by V is equals to square root of eta divided by rho, or I can call it as uh, R divided by rho. This is the relation. So, what is meant by eta and R here? They are called as rigidity modulus. Okay, ma? Rigidity modulus. How rigid the bodies are. Clear? So, if a body is more and more rigid, then the speed of transverse waves also will be very fast. Okay? So, and they are inversely proportional to root of density also. Similarly, if density of the waves is greater, then speed of transverse waves will be lesser. Okay? So, directly proportional to root of rigidity modulus, inversely proportional to root of density. <coughs> okay, ma? So, these are the two factors on which speed of uh, transverse waves depends upon. Okay? So, then we study about uh, speed of longitudinal waves. Second one what we are studying, speed of longitudinal waves. Okay, ma? So, in this one, first one we will study about uh, speed of longitudinal waves speed of longitudinal waves in in liquids and gases liquids and gases okay ma so speed of longitudinal waves in the case of liquids and gases so in this condition the speed of longitudinal waves in the case of liquids and gases is given by V is equals to square root of beta divided by rho. Or I can write as square root of k divided by rho. Clear, ma? So what is meant by beta or k here? They are called as 
bulk modulus. Okay, ma? See, ma, for liquids and gases, we cannot define rigidity modulus. No? Rigidity modulus is defined only for solids only. But in the case of liquids and gases, what I define? I define bulk modulus. <coughs> okay, ma? Bulk modulus. So velocity of uh, speed, uh, velocity of longitudinal waves in liquids and gases this is given by this relation. Okay. Similarly, uh, speed in the case of solids. Speed in the case of solids. Speed of longitudinal waves in the case of solids is given by V is equals to square root of um, B plus 4 by 3 R divided by rho. This is the relation. Or you can write uh, V is equals to square root of K plus 4 by 3 eta divided by rho also. Okay. So again the uh, definitions remain same. So beta comma K, what I can call them? I can call them as bulk modulus. Clear ma? Similarly, R comma eta. I can call them as rigidity modulus. Okay, ma? So these are the two conditions in the case of speeds of longitudinal waves. Clear? Similarly, if I study about uh, speeds of longitudinal waves in the case of uh, longitudinal waves in the case of in the case of long rods. Clear, ma? So speed of longitudinal waves in the case of long rods. So how can I produce uh, longitudinal waves in the case of long rods, ma? Already we have studied, no? For example, if you take a long rod, clear? So if you hit with a hammer at this position, then what kind of waves will be produced? If I hit uh, long it, uh, this thin rod here, then what kind of waves will be produced, ma? Then transverse waves will be produced. So this rod, it starts vibrating like this. Okay? So longitudinal waves will be produced. Let go of stone or mirror. Custom unten ways as well as late gum rather rather good together. Okay, ma. So similarly, if I hit the same rod uh, here, then what kind of waves will be produced? Then longitudinal waves will be produced. Okay, ma. So speed of longitudinal waves in the case of long rods can be defined by V is equals to square root of Y by rho. Young's modulus divided by density. Okay, ma. So what is meant by Y here? Y is called as Young's modulus, clear ma? And rho is called as density of rods, okay? So these are the different equations which we have in the case of uh, progressive waves. So progressive wave, wave means how many kinds of waves are possible ma? Transverse waves are possible, longitudinal waves are also possible. So transverse waves we have studied on uh, strings of musical instruments and then we have studied in solids. Longitudinal waves we have studied in three conditions. No? First of all, uh, in the case of liquids and gases. Second one is solids. And again, in the case of long rods. Understood, no? Okay, ma. Can you say the answer of this one? So, what is the length of steel wire? 0 0.72 meters. 0 0.72 meters. And was it is mass? Mass is 5 into 10 power minus 3 kg and the tension is given as 60 Newton. So we are supposed to calculate uh, the speed of transverse waves. How can I calculate? Ma? So what is the equation to calculate uh, speed of transverse waves on a steel wire? Oh. So steel wire I can call it as uh, strings of musical instruments also. No? So V is equals to square root of T divided by mu. That is the relation. Clear? So all values are given, just to substitute them. So T divided by mu can be written as mass per unit length. Clear number? So therefore, it is equals to square root of tension is 60 divided by mass is uh, 5 into 10 power minus 3 divided by length is how much? 0 0.72 meters. Clear? So just to do this calculation, that will be my equation for velocity. So what is the answer which she gave? 
the answer which he gave is 93 meters per second okay ma so 93 meters per second that is the speed of a transverse waves on strings of musical instruments clear no so in a sonometer experiment density of fire is given no 7.5 into 10 power 3 kg per meter cube so stress in the wire is also given so we are supposed to find the speed of the transverse waves in the wire so wire means uh, sonometer means this is just a wire only no on sonometer what is present wire is present so if you keep the number of knife edges it divides into number of uh, segments which are oscillating independently clear ma so here also speed of uh, transverse wave is nothing but uh, square root of t divided by mu this is the relation okay then uh, t is not given mu is also not given so what shall i do but uh, stress is given no so stress is how much stress is nothing but force per unit area force is nothing but tension only no so tension per unit area is nothing but uh, stress and what is the stress which is given 3 into 10 power 8 so therefore what is the amount of tension it is 3 into 10 power 8 multiplied by area let it be equation number one clear number then what about uh, mu mu means mass per unit length no so we know that density is equals to mass by volume clear number so mass divided by volume how can i write i can write area of cross section into length no area of cross section into length only no so if you take m by l m by l is nothing but mu no so therefore can i write density is equals to mu divided by a okay so therefore mu is equals to density into a so this is uh, equation number two so take both of them substitute in this relation so therefore v is equals to square root of tension is how much tension is 3 into 10 power 8 multiplied by area or first of all we will write uh, general terms ma so i can write uh, tension to be stress into area i can write number stress into area divided by mass per unit length how can i write mass per I unit length i can write density into area that's it no so area area if i cancel then what is the relation i got the relation which i got is stress divided by density stress divided by density clear so this equation you can call it as another equation for velocity of wave velocity of wave in the case of musical instruments clear number one equation is v is equals to root t by mu this i can call it as second equation no? stress divided by density now you just uh, substitute the values so square root of stress into area so area area gets cancelled so therefore what is the stress which we have written 3 into 10 power 8 divided by density is how much more density is uh, 7.5 into 10 power 3 so just to do this calculation you will get the required answer okay so the answer which he gave is 200 meters per second 200 meters per second so that is our equation understood number so one equation which we have used is v is equals to root t by mu from that one i got another equation no? v is equals to stress by density second equation okay so a copper wire is held at two ends by rigid supports so consider these are two supports and a wire is held here okay ma? so at 30 degrees wire is just taut with negligible tension what is the meaning of this one just taut means the uh, wire can be like this also no ma? clear so wire is not like this taut means wire is just straight but tension in the wire is negligible means almost zero okay ma? so wire is present like this will almost zero tension that is called as it is just taut clear so then we are supposed to find out speed of transverse waves at 10 degrees celsius previously tension was 0 at 30 now i am cooling down this one to 10 degrees celsius then what happens if i cool a body what will happen ma if i cool a body what will happen ah huh? no huh? ah body contracts no so body uh, tries to stretch okay it tries to contract but uh, these are rigid supports no so immediately what this uh, rigid supports will do they start developing opposite force on this wire so immediately tension starts developing in this wire 
Are you able to understand more? So here we have to use the concept of uh, both Young's modulus as well as the concept of uh, effect of expansion on heating a body. Clear? So depending on the effect of expansion on a body, we know that uh, Young's modulus is, uh, sorry, we know that alpha is equals to L2 minus L1 divided by L1 delta T, no? What is alpha? Coefficient of linear expansion. So coefficient of linear expansion is L2 minus L1 by L1 into delta T. Okay, ma? Or just I can write delta L divided by L delta T also I can write. Delta L is change in length, L is original length, delta T is a change in temperature. So this is the relation according to a rise of uh, uh, temperature and what is the change in length. Similarly, uh, there is a concept of uh, uh, Young's modulus also. No? When a wire undergoes expansion or compression, it depends on Young's modulus of the material only. No? So therefore, Young's modulus, how can I write? Young's modulus can be written as F into L divided by A into delta L. This is how I have to write, Tama. F into L divided by A into delta L. Longitudinal stress divided by longitudinal strain. That is called as Young's modulus, no? So force per unit area divided by delta L by L. So if I rearrange this one, this is what I will get, F into L by A into delta L. So from this relation, delta L by L I can calculate, no? Delta L by L. Delta L by L will be how much? F divided by A into Young's modulus. So delta L by L comes to this side, Young's modulus goes to the other side. Okay. So this delta L by L, I can substitute in this relation. No? Here also I have delta L by L, no? So therefore what I do, so... Therefore, alpha is equals to delta L by L. Instead of delta L by L, F divided by A into Young's modulus. Here I have delta T, no? So substitute the delta T. Okay? So therefore, what I got? I got F is equals to YA alpha delta T. So this is a very, very, very important relation to calculate. The tension developed in the wire, if wire is uh, heated or cooled by a temperature of delta where y is the modulus of the wire, a is called uh, area of cross section of the wire, alpha is coefficient of uh, linear expansion, delta t is a change in temperature. <coughs> Are you able to understand? Ma? So this f is nothing but uh, tension only, no? f is nothing but tension. So therefore why don't you substitute in the equation of transverse waves? So what is the speed of transverse waves in musical instruments? Ma? So speed is equals to square root of t divided by mu. So therefore, speed is equals to square root of, tension is nothing but force. So Ya alpha delta T divided by uh, mu. Mu is not given, so therefore I will try to calculate this one in terms of density only. So we know density is equals to mass by volume number, so mass divided by area of cross section into length. So mass per unit length is nothing but mu is equals to density into area of cross section. Clear? Substitute here. So density into area of cross section. So area of cross section, area of cross section get cancelled. So what are the terms now we have? Square root of y alpha delta t divided by rho. Okay? And I think all these values are already given. This question ma this one. Ah. So all these values are already given ma. So we are supposed to substitute all of them and we get the answer. <coughs> Completed? Right down. Alpha value is given as 1.7 into 10 power minus 5 per degree Celsius. Young's modulus is 1.4 into 10 power 11. Density is 9 into 10 power 3. Okay. And what is the change in temperature? Ah, change in temperature is 30 minus 10 is 20. Clear? So substitute all those values. That should be your answer. Okay. Ma? So alpha Young's modulus density. Alpha is 1.7 into 10 power minus 5. Young's modulus is how much? Young's modulus is 1.4 into 10 power 11. Density is 9 into 10 power 3. And uh, change in temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. Okay? 
So substitute all those values and see what is the speed you will get. Okay, ma? So the speed which you should get is 72 meters per second. 72 only, no? Hmm. So 72 meters per second. That is our answer. <coughs> Understood, Nama? That's it. Okay, ma. So, for aluminium, bulk modulus and uh, rigidity modulus are given. Bulk modulus I can write B or uh, I can write K is equal to 7.5 into 10 power 10 Newton per meter square. And rigidity modulus I can call it as R or I can call it as eta also. So, which is equals to 2.1 into 10 power 10 Newton per meter square. So, velocity of longitudinal waves in the medium, density of aluminum is already given. Okay, ma? So, this is the velocity in which condition, this is the condition for velocity of longitudinal waves in the case of solids. Clear, ma? Velocity of longitudinal waves in the case of solids. So, for that one, what is the relation? V is equals to square root of B plus 4 by 3 R divided by eta R rho. That is the relation. Or you can write it as a square root of k plus 4 by 3 eta divided by rho. Okay. So just to substitute all the values here, then you will get equation for velocity. Okay, ma? And what is the equation for velocity which you should get? 6.18 into 10 power 3. 6.18 into 10 power 3 meters per second. That is the value which you will get. Understood, Nama? That's it.